This is me on the exact day I started my journey. One of my favourite items of clothing that I love seeing on other people are crop tops, tank tops, spaghetti tops, all these other tops, but I never felt like I could wear them. I also came from a family of women who had bigger, larger frames, so I thought it wouldn't ever be possible for me to get After there. struggling and trying everything for so many years, I finally found the perfect routine for me, which is what I'm going to share with you guys today. You're probably thinking, but how? It all started with a challenge. Partway through my weight loss journey, I noticed I wasn't losing anything on my waist and I wanted to try something. I've been seeing this tag all around YouTube lately that claims that with doing these workouts and from some of the biggest fitness influencers on YouTube have been claiming that you can get a slimmer waist and slimmer stomach in just three days. The first step was making my very first measurements. I'd been someone who would always check every single day to see if there were differences, there were changes, but one part of this process which scared me is that I was going to have to let go of this and only trust the process. You see, with having had so many failed attempts, like the waist trainer trends and these slim your waist fast trends, nothing had ever worked. You see so many of these things on Instagram, online, that celebrities and other people try. You think that is going to be the thing that fixes it for me but it never ever worked for me and I thought it was just me. This time I did it differently, no more fads, I actually looked up the facts on what actually helped something like this come into place. My complete weekly routine changed and I'm so excited to share that with you guys today because this is what changed everything. As part of my weight loss journey I adopted Chloe Ting routines, Emmy Wong, Lily Sabri. But in actual fact, doing the wrong workout for an hour is less effective than doing the right workout for 20 minutes. And that's exactly what I did. I wrote down and sat and tested so many workouts on YouTube and decided which ones are going to be hard enough to advance me to where I want to be. Don't make it too easy. You've got to challenge yourself. Don't make it too hard because you'll run out of steam and it won't be fun enough. Picking the right workout for your level is going to be amazing for your results. Using weights or doing my workouts weighted really changed everything for my weight loss journey and seeing the results of a slimmer waist. I know it's not important to see things every single week or to see results every single time but it's something that really boosted my motivation when I did see it. The reason why I found this so amazing is that I learned that actually building up your fat percentage is that actually building up your muscle mass and your muscle percentage and reducing your fat percentage is going to be such a major catalyst to seeing those results, especially when it comes to something like a slimmer waist, slimmer thighs. So I focused on toning. I focused on making sure that I was doing it weighted. I focused on if I was sweating, breaking a sweat enough, was the video challenging me? I didn't want to be doing the wrong thing again for another month, let alone another week because I'd been failing so much before. So I really, really wanted to find videos that would make me break a sweat, make me feel tired exhausted afterwards and that's when I knew I'd found the right ones my food regime had to have a glow up too I know when I eat most of it goes to my stomach area my waist area but actually to enhance this fat loss this fat percentage loss the inches around your waist it has to be an overall weight loss luckily I've done a whole video on all the foods that really really helped me during this time and I'll link it in the top of the description if you want to see that hey friends so in today's video I really wanted to give you guys some sort of journey on how I really wanted to where my waist slimming journey even derived from even started and why I went on it how I did it how long it took tips tricks anything that I sort of have I wanted to share that with you guys now now as you guys know I started off on the heavier side. I'm someone who has always come from a family of people who are, you know, have a lot of a bigger build. I have come from a family of women who have bigger thighs, bigger hips, bigger waist, but in not in the proportion that I necessarily wanted. And for growing up, it would always get me down because I felt this immense pressure to look like everyone else who was, for example, more straight or had more of an hourglass figure. And I never really had that or came from a family that had that because of whatever it is. I just come from a heavier genetics and that's just the way it's going to be. So if you're first of all in that position, I hope this video shows you that it is possible you can still get there. I felt like I had no hope at all. First thing I had to identify that I came from a huge long line of over consuming and loads of you guys ask me and DM me about cheat days or what could classify as a cheat day and I always emphasize and tell you guys how important it is to realize that over consuming continuously is what gets us to where we currently are but it's about knowing that you can have that one cheat day and it's not going to make this huge, drastic, bad 
impact on your weight loss journey because it's over consuming added on added on loads of consecutive days in a row that turn into weeks that turn into months that's what we get so when you're eating healthy 80 percent of the time you really are realizing that over consuming is exactly that it's doing it on a long period of time over and over and over again if you have one cheat day it's not going to make a difference so that was sort of my realization that when i eat the food goes to my waist and to really undo that or reverse it i have to realize when am i over consuming how much am i over consuming and when but when i have a cheat day where i go crazy maybe make it one day every two weeks and the rest of the days it can be a medium-sized portion i've touched on so many videos of foods that really really help me my weight loss journey and i really recommend going through those videos and looking at what foods help you stay full what foods are so good for for example i know when i'm having a heavier carbohydrate eating routine and i'm piling on the carbohydrates my fat percentage can stay a lot higher which means again my waist is going to stay a lot wider because i am not leaning down i'm eating very high carbohydrate fat heavy foods which means my fat percentage is a lot higher although it's important to keep those foods in your routine because they keep you full they keep you you know to satiety and keeping nourished that can also be one of the things because you guys dm me saying you lose weight but you still feel like you're you know held the he look heavier and sometimes it's just a case of leaning down toning down and reducing our fat percentage based on the types of foods that we're eating when it comes to exercising and exercises this is the routine that was my holy grail when it comes to any sort of goal that you want to have it's always important to find what works best for you one thing i really really had to realize was it's going to be consistency if i want to see a more toned waist although you cannot i stress this you cannot spot reduce toning is a huge impact and catalyst to seeing the types of results you want to see for example if it's leaner slimmer thighs toning is really really going to help you gain that visual aspect that you're looking for because you're reducing the fat percentage by toning by increasing the muscle mass which then gives you that visual that you're trying to achieve trying to attain and that's what i really took with me when it came to the waist slimming my body might not look like you know this person this person this person has a tiny waist but how can i really optimize it based on what my body already has and that's what you're really doing you're just using the beauty that you already have as opposed to aiming for something else because that person's shaped different they look different and that's what i really took with me by toning you're enhancing what you already have you're exposing the muscle in that area to allow you to trim down the fat percentage to give you what you want visually and that's something really really amazing that people don't realize that toning can do so much for what you really want to have and these videos will help you with that i found them so helpful eventually i'm going to be doing a video to rank the best weight loss videos that i found on youtube ever by testing out some of the biggest names lily sabri emmy wong chloe ting i'm going to give you a full down review on whose is the best in terms of difficulty in terms of funness in terms of interaction activity all sorts of things like that so do watch out for that video last but not least you guys know i always love to touch on consistency now again consistency is what's going to get you there you can have all the resources in the world it's consistency that's going to allow you to start seeing those results now good luck everyone i hope you have enjoyed this video because waist slimming is one of my most requested videos ever and i love to share these things with you guys i will be doing a full in-depth tutorial on this very very soon but i just wanted to give an introduction for now don't forget to come over and follow my inspirational fitness page on instagram as well as my podcast page as well don't forget to give this a massive thumbs up and subscribe 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 i'm loving having all of you guys here i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys very very soon bye guys